Welcome back everybody, I'm your host Storm and I am playing Pokemon Brilliant Diamond once again. So Byron's been defeated. Oh, oh that's right, Barry wanted me to... I right, go to the... This is the library. This is the library, right? He just walks into it like that. That's cute and annoying at the same time, just the way everything is structured. The ceiling high bookshelves are crammed with books. I should hope so. Or oh, games. Or pictures. The shelves are lined with books worn from being read by many people. Well, this place is doing good business, I guess. Oh, I can't see this. Books. Hello, this is the Candlelave Library. Please be, please keep quiet while, we're on, while you're on the premises. I won't make as much noise as I fucking want to. Which is zero, but still. The books on the third floor are easy to read. The ones down here are all too tough for me to understand. Oh, well then. Go to the third floor then. Please refrain from bringing food or beverages into the library. Oh. Hey, Soul, over here. This way. Every time I play, I keep forgetting that I name myself Soul. Okay, Gramps, I brought Soul, like I said. And now I'm out of here. What? Okay, I get it. Yes, come fuck it. Where the hell are you going? Hmm. Everyone's finally here. Listen up. Okay, very demanding, but alright. You may have forgotten already, but I studied the evolution of Pokemon. The more I study, the more mysteries appear and multiply. There's some Pokemon that evolve, and others that don't. I'm seeing it again, like the eye that's closest to you is is fully fleshed out, but the one that's farther away is pixelated for some reason. I don't I don't know what that is. <clears throat> what makes them different from each other? Do immature ones evolve into ones that are more mature? I don't know about that. Ash's Charizard was pretty immature. And so was Iris's Dragonite. If so, what do we make of the legendary Pokemon that don't evolve? What, 99% of them? Are we to assume that the legendary Pokemon of Sinnoh are complete as creatures? I mean, do you want them to evolve? Would that be... Would you want to see an evolved uh, Dialga and Palkia and Giratina? What would, they, what would they even look like? Ugh, why is it whenever I play out at the yawn? This is where you three come in. There was said to be a, myst a mysterious Pokemon in each of the three lakes of Sinnoh. We can, if we can obtain data on them, it may shed some light on how the process of Pokemon evolution works. Okay, but why, why those three specifically though? How's that gonna help? <clears throat> I need help from each one of you on this on this grand undertaking. Help me find these mysterious Pokemon. As honest trailers put it, Mew 3, Mew 4, and Mew 5. Basically. What are you saying? I didn't get a Pokedex. You didn't get a Pokedex? And who was it that bolted from the thread before I get a chance to give them one? Well, that's water under the bridge. Not really, I mean, could this the sixth badge? Fifth badge? And he doesn't have one. Seeing Pokemon with your own eyes is important for you, for you in becoming a better trainer, too. You can count on me, I will level uh, the bug guys, so. So you go too, won't you? Hmm. I would have made all of you go regardless. Made me go. Now then, there are three lakes. Fortuitously, the three of you are here. You should split up and investigate the lakes individually. Dawn, you go to Lake Verity. Oh, no. Barry, I want you to investigate Lake Acuity. That would take you almost to Snow Point City. I want to go there. I want to go see Candace. I like Candace the best. The road there is harsh. I need a tough trainer to go. Okay, well, why not me? Because I've beaten Barry here every single time we battled. So why not me? Uh, yeah, of course. 
Gramps, you know how to call it. You can you can tell I'm the hotness. Ugh. Don't say that. What the hell are you looking at? And that leaves Soul with Lake Valor. The lake is between Veilstone and Pastoria, if, if memory serves. Oh yeah, something's supposed to happen here. Yeah, I don't remember what, though. Has it stopped? All of you unharmed? Obviously, it seems I'm okay. Let's go outside, but be careful. I'm concerned about the city. Soul, hurry along, but beware of aftershocks. I'm feeling wobbly. Even though the tremor has ended, my knees still feel like jelly. I'd imagine so. I've actually been in a small earthquake before. Terrifying. Ooh, was that an earthquake? I didn't imagine it. No, it happened. Now let's read about how Pokemon and humans used to get in bed with each other. This ancient book is titled The Original Story. Would you like to read it? Yes. In the beginning, there was only a churning turmoil of chaos. I wonder if that chaos itself was a Pokemon. That'd be scary and interesting. At the heart of chaos, where all things became one, appeared an egg. Having tumbled from the vortex, the, e the egg gave the egg gave rise to the original one. Why is egg capitalized? Like, I I'm pretty sure Pokemon egg in the series is a, a technical term, so that's why it's capitalized. But like, all right, forget it. I, I don't know why I'm asking this. Let's keep reading. From itself, two beings, the original one did make. Three beings, actually. Time started to spin. Space began to expand. From itself again, three living things, the original one did make. The two beings wished, and from them, matter came to be. The three living things wished, and from them, spirit became to be, came to be. The world created, the original one took to unyielding sleep. I think you can actually catch Arceus fairly this time instead of that. Unlike with Gen 4. That is so fucking ridiculous. Just Junichi Masuda said the Azure Flute would have been too confusing for people outside of Japan to understand. So that's why they, they so that, that's why they, they never did a, a distribution for it outside of Japan. So everyone just had to hack the game to get to Arceus. So fucking dumb. A horrific myth. Look not into the Pokemon's eyes, but in, an, in but an instant, you'll have no recollection, recollection of who you are. Return home, but how? When there's nothing to remember. Dare not touch the Pokemon's body. In but three short days, all emotions will drain away. Above all, above all, harm not the Pokemon. In a scant seven days, the offender will grow immobile in, 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 in entirely. Sin of folk stories. Story one. Pick clean the bones of Pokemon caught in the sea or stream. Thank them for the meals they provide and pick their bones clean. When the bones are as clean as, as can be, set them free in the water from which they came. The Pokemon will return, fully fleshed, and it begins anew. There lived a Pokemon in a forest. In the forest, the Pokemon shed its hide to sleep as a human. Awakened, the human dons the Pokemon hide to roam villages. Okay. Which Pokemon is that? This is what I'm talking about there. There once, there once were Pokemon that became very close to humans. <clears throat> there once were humans and Pokemon that ate together at the same table. <clears throat> there was a time when, it, it was a time when there existed no differences to distinguish the two. Well, anyway, in the Japanese version, it said that humans and Pokemon used to marry. Which, eh. I hope second. There's more here? Oh, there's the same one everywhere? Okay. Sin myth. Betray not your anger, lest something will come. 
Weep not with sorrow, or something will draw near. When joy and enjoyment come as natural as the very air, that is happiness. Let such be blessed by the hand of Master... something. It was accustomed to speak those words. Syringe's mythology. Long ago, when Sinnoh had just been made, Pokemon and humans led separate lives. That's not, a, that's not to say that they did not help each other. No, indeed they did. They supplied each other with goods and supported each other. A Pokemon proposed to the others to always be ready to help humans. Yeah, propose is right. It asked that Pokemon be ready to appear before humans. Always. Thus, to this day, Pokemon appear to us if we venture into tall grass. Oh, God. You sure they're not just animals looking to get food or something? Or being, are getting agitated that someone's coming into their territory? So that was myth. Three Pokemon there were. Into the lakes they dove, deep, deep, drawing no breath. Deeper, deeper they dove, into suffocating depths they dove. Deeper than deepest they... Deeper than deepest they alight. From the lake floor they rise. Bearing with them the power to make vast lands, they rise again. Veilstone Smith. Huh. A young man, callow and foolish in, in innocence, came to own a sword. With it, he smote Pokemon, which gave sustenance with carefree abandon. Those not taken as food, he discarded with no afterthought. The following year, no Pokemon appeared. Larders grew bare. The young man, seeking the missing Pokemon, journeyed afar. Long did he search, and far and wide too, until one he did find. Asked he, Why do you hide? To which the Pokemon replied, Motherfucker, you genocided the, our entire species. What the fuck do you want me to do? If you bear your sword to bring, us, bring harm upon us with claws and fangs, we will exact a toll. From your kind, we will take our toll, for it must be done. Done it must be to guard ourselves and for it, I apologize. Okay. To the skies, the young man shouted, in shouted his dismay. And having found the sword, I have lost so much. Gorged with power, I grew blind to Pokemon being alive. I will never fall savage again. This sword I denounce and forsake. I plead for forgiveness, for I was but a fool. So saying, the young man hurled the sword to the ground, snapping it. And that's how we got... <sighs> Not Dove, Aegislash. Or, I, I don't know, Zashian and, and Zamazenta. Seeing this, the Pokemon disappeared to a place beyond seeing. I'm about to, I'm about to look, research that a bit because I'm, I'm not entirely clear what they're talking about. Yes, there was an earthquake. Before I knew it, I was looking at a book called Surviving Disasters. <laughs> I, I don't blame you. I've been asking people not to serve me while I'm reading. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have even have bothered. I'm all agitated now. Oh my god, the controls. Uh, hello, this is the Candlelight Library. Please keep, keep, please keep quiet when you're on the premises. It certainly wasn't me who screamed. I definitely didn't shout, help me. Oh god. No, really, that wasn't me yelling. Gotcha. Whoa. That, that that sounds wrong coming from him. Whoa. That tremor. That wasn't a natural occurrence. What's going on? Is it Team Galactic again? Probably. Hey, hey. Old dude and kids. Something big just happened. What are you telling us? They're saying there was a huge explosion at Lake Valor. Kaboom! Like that. Yeah, I know how an explosion works. Gramps, 
I'm going to the lake. I have a bad feeling about this. Hmm. That berry can't sit still. So, I'm worried about Lake Valor. However, I have no idea what is taking place. You must find out. But before you go, I can't stress this enough. Don't get in over your head. I'll be fine. We'll try to join you as soon as we inspect Lake Verity. Inspect Lake Verity. Yeah, I'm fine. Leave me alone. An explosion at Lake Valor? But there isn't anything there, is there? There's something there. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I can... It's like Verity. All the way over here? Fucking like... Alright. Well, they... Well, they said they're gonna inspect like like Verity, so... Mailing is based on the gym leader. Wakes the gym leader in Pastoria. Then there's Fantina and Hardhome. They're all way too tough. I can't even come close to them. Well, no one's here is worried about the um the explosion, I guess, so. Anyway. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Look out! Behind you! What is it? Oh my god, I don't know, but I don't have time for this. I must have avoided Psychic Abigail the first time through. That's a terrible cry. I didn't heal them? Oh, now you have Levitate? So I guess it's just Gengar that doesn't have it. Kadabra. Uh, actually, no. I'll, I'll keep Doterra in. Ah, cool. Exactly what I wanted. Ooh, mischievous. My plan to scare you didn't go over well at all. <sighs> no, it didn't. Did I actually avoid all these people? I must have. How close am I? Oh, it's right there. It's right there. This bike can't take tall grass like this. Nothing here. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. To find my favorite Pokemon, I'll go east, west, or any which way. So what's your favorite Pokemon then? Collector. Oh. He looks it too, jeez.
Another Breezo. Looking like a book collector to me. Well, you know what? Well, no, no, this is this is about right. I remember like the the super nerds from like the first two three generations. They looked about this a lot like this. Aqua Jet. But they're my favorite Pokemon. Well, your favorites aren't always going to do the best, unfortunately. <sighs> of course. I've been traveling around the world chasing stories on mysteries. It's made me pretty tough. Well, confidence is key. Oh, shield off. Which reminds me, I need to get my hands on one of the fossils. Yeah, I knew it. Oh, that's not gonna help. Could you imagine that uh, that thing biting you, Torterra? Just having it wrap its giant maw around you? How frightening would that be? Ah, <sighs> that's a downer. This way. Oh, yeah, the pool of the damn lake. Ha ha ha! Next stop, Lake Verity. The closest thing to civilization out there is that hick town twin leaf. We can roll in there and completely un unopposed. Oh no, the Magikarp. Should catch it. Make him do Gyarados. Would you like to join the Magikarp and flop around in the mud? I will fucking kick you in your fucking chest up against that wall. Oh, a Glay Meow. Ah, yeah, that's gonna help. Which is stronger here? Oh, really? Bite? Okay, well. Ah, very nice. Kind of. Yes, I'll keep going. I was gonna do more than shudder, believe me. Overwhelming. I played you for a child and paid a stiff price for my arrogance. 
However, you're much too late. Team Galactic has already found the sunken island under the lake. And the Pokemon that slumbers there? Well, what do you think it is now? Do you have it? No, I don't have it. Do you have it now? No, why, why would I have it? No, I don't have it. The other Team Galactic members took it already. Oh. Are you sure you don't have it? Oh my god. I'm not, I'm not fighting all of them. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go straight. Okay, I can't go this way. I don't think. Even Team Galactic has no use for Magikarp. Worthless, worthless, all of them. Not unless you make them Gyarados. You have an ar fucking move, Jesus! You have an army of Gyarados at your disposal. You wouldn't want that. Gyarados is good people. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not battling all of them. I'm just... What the hell? Ugh. C come on. <sighs> One thing that's cool that I noticed that the farther away you are from something, the game actually ends up blowing it. And then it comes clear once you get close. Jeez, mate. What you guys doing here? Nice and big to run around in. Thanks for my reflection. There's one good thing um, Ilka did, whatever the developer's name is. Anyway, Saturn. What's going on, man? The mission is proceeding without a the mission is proceeding without a hitch. The boss should be pleased. Everything's for everyone, and for the good of Team Galactic. I recognize your face. You're the child who raided the Team Galactic building in Eterna City. Huh. <laughs> Jupiter should be ashamed of herself beating a ch being beaten by a child like that. But anything and anyone that opposes Team Galactic must be crushed. Even the very thought of op opposition would not be tolerated. Well, let's go, man. Kind of different here. It's the eyes. They they definitely redesign his eyes. I feel. Oh hey, and me with the dog type move. Brain dance. Oh, you know something I miss? I miss how in the Pokemon Stadium games, Kadabra would would spin in the air when using an attack. Like, I fully expected it to do that when he used Rain Dance, but it didn't. God damn it. HAL Laboratory knew what, what it was doing. HAL Laboratories and Genius Sonority knew what they were doing with, with 3D Pokemon. I keep seeing people say that they don't like 3D Pokemon compared to the 2D sprites. But, like, I guarantee you they probably would. If you had someone like HAL Laboratory or Genius Sonority doing the development, doing the animations and everything. Like, seriously, go back to the Stadium games and um, the GameCube, game, Coliseum and Gale of Darkness. They- oh, I just realized. Goddamn Rain Dance. Ah, uh, forget it. I'm, I'm already this far. Yeah. Oh, I'm not confused, right? Yeah, the models are fine. It's just the animation that's, that's stiff and, and, um... Uns uninspiring. Ugh, damn it. <sighs> Does that have to be 20 points every time? Seriously, I would I would kill to have a new genius sonority developed Pokemon game for the Switch. Oh, 
Awesome. Toxic Croak, yes. How do you, how do you still not have Earthquake? What, what, I, I'm about to look it up. I don't use Toxic Toxic Croak. <laughs> That's mean. Let me do this. That's right. You, my friend, are tough. I can see why you defy us so. I don't like his eyes here. Yeah, even I, a commander, only managed to buy us time. But that's fine. A child like you will never be able to stem the flow of time. Team Galactic will take a look at the, the three legendary Pokemon of the lakes. With their power, we will create an entirely new universe. Why are you telling me this? By now, Marsh should have captured the Pokemon at Lake Verity. Oh no, not Mars at Lake Verity. You ever wonder what the hell this shape is supposed to be? I've always wondered, like, all three lakes have these weird shapes in them, but I've never been able to figure out what they are. Hmm, the one that was standing here is gone, so I can only imagine that I actually was supposed to battle him. Ah, shit! I may have a team, on behalf of my boss, I'll punish you for defying Team Galactic. I just wanted to see. Three Pokemon, alright, fine. Oh, Torterra is still poisoned. But I still have one Earthquake left, I think. I think I do. Yes, I do. All these extra prompts that keep popping up, popping up on the screen are just annoying. Doterra is awaiting your instructions. Okay, whatever. Just stop that. Well then. You just got rid of the poison, huh? And people say that the new games aren't aren't that easier. Than the older ones. Yes, the fuck they are. I mean, there are anti frustration mechanics, and then there's just making the game hold your hand the entire time and not give you much of a challenge. Oh, May had a beautiful eye. In the anime. Ugh. I'm the one who got punished in the end. Yeah, you are. Okay, anyway. To like Verity. Like Verity. It's back a fucking... Alright. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, one second. Let me just heal. Hey, Mom. Nothing like good old... Uh, good old MILF... Uh, attention to heal you. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, anyway. Close your way. Let's surf. It really is surfing. 
That's nice too. You, you, you can see its 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 legs um, moving. That's nice. Nothing here though. Now, was, well, do I do I have any of the rods? I'm gone. No. Remember? Oh, I do. Okay, fine, let's go save the lake or whatever. Yes, Professor Rowan. Ah, so, what timing? Those Team Galactic scoundrels are, are after the legendary Pokemon. You, you've got to help Dawn. Ugh, I don't want to help her. Yeah, son of a bitch. It's our mission to stall you. Sorry, but we gotta do our job. In order for us to bring peace to the world, we must control it. Okay, Darth Tyrannus. That was basically what Duke... Ah, uh, full team? and then Ariel Ace the Silicone. Great. <laughs> You're not really stalling me that well. Gotta say. Yes, Earthquake. Yeah, sure, close combat. Sucker Punch. Yeah. That's the drawback of close combat, but it is effective to get off uh, at least a, a good heavy blow on, a, on an opponent, at least. If it doesn't affect Star After, why did you play the animation for it being hit? I don't, I don't understand that. Quick again. And uh, Aerialis Golbat, I guess. Damn. Should have used um, Razor Leaf. Oh, finally, Jesus. I it's not Earthquake, but, um... Well, actually, this, this actually will be better. Earth, po Earth Power is a, um, special move. <sighs> Shit. Uh, give it a Body Slam. Fight this time, and we'll do aerial ace once more. This system works. Yep, 
Losing was a part of my job, too. I feel better by saying that. <laughs> You're too young to understand. Ugh. Ugh, can I... Oh, I can't surf in this! So long, losers. I actually can't get off of this. That's fucking... That's fantastic. I'm gonna save. I hope that didn't cause a glitch or something. the point. I'm just, yeah, I'll just do this. Hey, Mars. That fa- ugh, god damn it. I just, I, I keep saying it. I'm, 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 I'm a broken record, but I just do not like this cheapy style. That face, it brings back bad memories. I'm talking about the, the, the Valley Winterworks. I got a whole lot of trouble for that little incident. Well, whose fault was that? You shouldn't have fucking did it. Also, you shouldn't have lost. What did that look on your face? You do remember me, don't you? Yes, yes, yes. I don't I don't care, though. I, I know who you are. I just don't care. Fine, whatever. I'll tell you who I am again. Why are you smiling? I'm Mars, one of Team Galactic's commanders. How cute. You two think you can save the day in your little game of hero? Not a chance. Not even a teeny one. You're all going down. Okay. Oh, planet's just cool. Bite. Are oh, you bitch? Purgly. I oh, don't do that. Stop it. Okay, fine, you wanna do all right, you know, here's, here's what I'm gonna do. Do another one? No, damn, alright. Oh, you cunt. Oh, how'd I guess? Of course. Uh, eh, I don't know if this is going to be more. Nope. Ah, shit! Why did I do that? It wasn't even worth it. Okay, I'll, I'll, 
I'll do this. Try to get another. Oh no, Houndoom doesn't happen to me. What am I thinking of? I think Houndoom has flash fire, doesn't it? Why was I thinking they had intimidate? Oh, look at me! I'm not using attack. Nope. Bronze ore, you say? I think I said it before, but Bronze Song is a good Pokemon to have. Yuck. Again and again. I lost again. Yeah, that happens when you go against the main character. So first it was the Valley Windworks, and now it's Lake Verity that I owe you for. This shouldn't be happening to a Team Galactic Commander. And yet here we are. Calm down, Mars. I've done my part in all of this. My mission was to transport the Lake's Pokemon to our HQ. That's right. I accomplished my mission without a problem. Team, we're pulling out. The boss is waiting at it at the HQ. The Pokemon on the three lakes are connected somehow. Thanks to Saiyan's grandstanding at Lake Vala, a cavern appeared here. It was the cavern where the Pokemon Mesprit slept. Mesprit appeared too, probably to go help its friends. That worked out well for us. It was super easy to catch. So, now we've got them all. Mesprit, the, why are you still talking? Mesprit, the being of emotion. Azelf, the being of willpower. Yuxi, the being of intelligence. Now that we have all three, you can look forward to what Team Galactic has in store for them. Man, just... Bad guys love monologuing, don't they? I see. This has also occurred at Lake Valor. Another legendary Pokemon was taken away by Team Galactic. Both of you went up against full-fledged criminals. The fact that you're unharmed is reason enough to celebrate. But what about Lake Acuity? Is Barry safe? I don't know. Lake Acuity is that way. Alright, well, we have to go save Barry now, I guess. But on the plus side, we get to go to Lake, uh, not Lake, um, Acuity, but we get to go to Snow Point City. And that's what Candace is. I liked her the best of all the gym leaders. She's fun. <laughs> all right. So, yeah, we'll we'll take care of that next. Man, this whole area is just nothing but ice. I like that. Uh, we'll take care of that next time, and maybe I'll get some new clothes, unless I already have them. In which case, I'll just put them on before I head up there. So I'll put this up again some other time, and I will talk to you guys later.